people boys and girls welcome to my channel i'm for classic and welcome to bench art so today we have in here the suicide of rachel foster a game developed by 101 games and it is using unreal engine 4. 101 games it isn't really a new developer team but yeah we could say that it is new since uh, their first game it was a vr game that i guess nobody cares and this is Probably their first decent game that they decided to come out with. And it is a walking simulator. So it shouldn't be really hard to make. But yet the, the visuals are very compelling. The, the graphics, the hotel where this game takes place. It is simply amazing graphically. I, I honestly say graphically, sound and atmosphere. These guys completely nail it. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot, and so because of that, I didn't really show off the settings. I forgot to record the settings, but I'm playing with the median settings at 1080p. And looking to the requirements, you can see that these guys ask for an AMD Ryzen CPU as a minimum, 8 gigs of RAM, and pretty much an, uh, a GTX 660 or an AMD RX 540. They say that one gigabyte it is enough. I hardly think that this is quite untrue because at the median settings in this game you can see that the VRAM it is completely full on this game and the game spends most of its time swapping textures all over the place and it is very noticeable and even if you put it at the low settings you can see that the textures are quite bad and still fulfills the entire 2 gigabytes of VRAM. So I'm not really sure if 1 gigabyte it is really enough or not, but what I know it is the performance that I got, and with the median settings I was able to get at an average close to 60 frames per second with a 1% low of 44, and the low settings I got just slightly higher performance with a 1% low also around the 50 frames per second. But yeah, the median settings, it was slightly more demanding, but visually it was so much better. But unfortunately, as you can see and as you will notice in this game, with the median settings, the settings that I'm using in here to record, you can see that the textures are swapping from high texture to low resolution all the time. Look at this, you can clearly see that the textures are changing in a lot of objects. And this is, I believe, because the graphic card it is running out of VRAM, because... At the median settings on my GTX 650 Super, which have 4GB of VRAM available, at the median settings the game was using more than 3GB of VRAM. So clearly, 2GB of VRAM it isn't really enough for the median settings, but honestly the low settings the textures are really bad. As for the difference in settings between the low and median, they are almost unnoticeable um, aside from, you know, aside from the textures. All the rest looks brutally amazing honestly the game looks really good and the sound like i did told you before it is simply amazing the atmosphere it is awesome this game supports binaural audio which is amazing you really feel immersed into it but yeah i think you should i think that's all that i want to talk about the performance you can play the game at medium settings if you want but you will see uh, flickering textures or you can play with the both settings with bad textures and that's pretty much that. As for the game itself, it, there is a lot of walking simulators on Steam which you can try. But this game it is more into the Firewatch as you can talk to other person on a phone of what is happening. And you can give your own response to that person that you are talking. So yeah, you get that vibe of Firewatch but into a more serious situation and with much better graphics. But it also mixes up a little bit of what remains of Eden Finch. So it's a mix between both of the games, but um, according to Steam reviews, it seems that it doesn't really nail it. It is an experience which you can play throughout 3 to 4 hours, so it's not a big game. And they say that the pace it is a little bit broken. But overall, people are satisfied, but they admit that it is worse than either Firewatch or What Remains of Eden Finch, which is quite, um, you know, quite bad. Although the game, it has a, a very good voice acting, the graphics are simply amazing, and Real Engine 4 was used at the beginning uh, to reproduce hotel rooms and houses, and it seems that these guys recognized that by 
creating a full hotel with great textures over here which makes the game to look really really good in my opinion also the sound it is amazing the atmosphere all the wind and snow going on the storm it is really good if you put some headphones this game have binary audio so it is strikingly amazing you really feel immersed into the game but apart from that you just get some puzzles and it is focus on history and the story and like I said you can finish the game very easily in three hours so it is a small experience you can get the game from Steam for uh, $16.99 so it is not very expensive but keep in mind that like I said this is a three hour exp experience and it is something that you start you finish and you will never play it again so it is up to you but I would recommend you to get this game on a sale, on, on a humble monthly, unless you really, really want to engage into this game. Alright guys, so I, I think that's all that I want to talk about, uh, the suicide of Rachel Foster. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. The victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition before stockpiles of fuel. Instructions refrain from going outside unless isolated or to return at home. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. <laughs> I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. What is this, a joke? Hello? Can, can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but... But the storm... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware... That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... I you... I... Bye. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that.
Hey, y you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Are you sure? Think so. Maybe someone. <sighs> no, listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies, it's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones.